Besides being two of the most famous singers in the world, Ariana Grande and Rihanna are two powerful women who have made a lot of money throughout their careers. But have you ever stopped to wonder which of the two leads a more luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a close battle between Ariana Grande versus Rihanna. But before we get started, I challenge you to click on subscribe and turn on the post notification on with less than five seconds. Okay, let's get started. When it comes to investing in homes, both celebrities are very comfortable, but which of them has the most expensive real estate? Ariana Grande, for example, likes a comfortable and luxurious home. She acquired a private hideaway in Montecito, California. The estate consists of two English houses from the 1700s that has been restored to country style home. It is situated in a 1.3 acre land with the main house sitting in a 5,500 square feet. The backyard is surrounded by beautiful wooden garden. The house consists of two bedrooms and two bathrooms, where she has even enjoyed recording and singing in the bath. It also has classic kitchen and a living room with a fireplace and ideal place to relax. While in contact with nature, the decor features many wooden beams, maintaining the original architecture but adding to the sophistication of the clean decor. To acquire this magical estate, the singer had to pay something around $6.7 million. Another property that once accommodated a Rihanna Grande for a while was a penthouse in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan, New York City. In the futuristic building, the singer lived in one of the 39 apartment units, having access to a very complete leisure area. With 75 feet indoor pool, a fitness space, a spa with a jacuzzi, and a private IMAX cinema, the 4,000 square feet property has an ideal architecture to meet the artist's needs, with automated windows that offers plenty of light. Five comfortable bedrooms, five bathrooms, a well-equipped kitchen, and a Mabel Island. Everything in this residence is very minimalist and functional. At the time Ariana lived with her ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson in this location, it is unclear whether she actually bought or rented the property. In any case, a lot of money had to be spent on the property valued at $16 million with its rent costing around $60,000. Rihanna, on the other hand, in early 2021, Rihanna bought this sprawling five-bedroom, seven-bathroom Beverly Hills home. Throughout the home, there are plenty of open-plan spaces for socializing, such as a luxurious wet bar and an alfresco courtyard complete with a fire pit, pool, and spa amenities. It has a truly stunning master bathroom with a standalone bathtub. This leads out to a beautiful sun terrace, perfect for savouring a morning coffee. The mansion is valued around $13,800,000. She also has a luxurious home in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Pacific Palisades. Built in 2009, the Hilltop Estate boasts seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Inside, a towering two-story entryway leads through to the formal living room, featuring a fireplace and picture windows that overlook the garden. The rooftop sun deck is the home's main attraction, featuring a large swimming pool with an adjoining spa and waterfall, as well as a covered outdoor kitchen. The mansion is currently on the real estate market for a whopping price of $16 million. She also has another Beverly Hills mansion. The interior of the home is just as imposing as the exterior, with 60-foot-high ceilings and towering glass windows. The entryway leads through to an array of cavernous living rooms that have been finished in stone, concrete, and steel. It also features a whole host of luxury amenities, including a chef's kitchen, a two-bedroom guest house, a large movie theater, and a gym. She sold the mansion for a whopping price of $16,800,000. And since Rihanna owns the most expensive real estate, she wins this round. Both musical stars own beautiful cars, but who has the most expensive garage? Rihanna, for example, owns some of the most luxurious and expensive cars in her collection. She has a Chevrolet Suburban LTZ, valued around $60,000. 
A Cadillac Escalade valued around $100,000. The Jeep Wrangler valued around $100,000. The Mercedes-Benz S-Class valued around $120,000. The Mercedes G-Wagon valued around $150,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S Convertible 997 valued around $150,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S valued around $160,000. A Ferrari 458 Italia valued around $230,000. A Rolls-Royce Cullinan valued around $350,000. A Lamborghini Aventador valued around $400,000. A Maybach 57S valued around $400,000. And $20,000 and a Mercedes McLaren SL or Sterling Moss valued around $1,200,000. Ariana Grande, on the other hand, is an independent woman who has already immersed a large amount of money, so she can invest quite a bit of money in vehicles to get around more comfortably. One of the vehicles she owns is the Mercedes-Benz E-Class convertible that, depending on the mileage, can cost up to $80,000. Another vehicle she has been seen using is the Cadillac Escalade, a luxury family-sized car that has a top-notch interior trim in addition to its rugged exterior look. And to acquire this vehicle, you have to cash out $100,000. The most modern machine Ariana owns is a Tesla Model S, a car full of digital features that has a great range. Being able to travel up to 405 miles on a single charge. And to acquire this vehicle, one has to dispose $120,000. Another vehicle she has been seen using is a Land Rover Sport, a luxury vehicle that costs around $130,000. For more extreme rides, Ariana uses the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, a robust and powerful car that costs around $150,000. On another occasion, she was seen with her ex-boyfriend in a Mercedes Maybach S600, an ultra luxurious sedan that offers a lot of comfort and it is worth around $190,000. Some sources claim that the singer owns a Ferrari for a HETBA super sport car made for those who like speed and to own this vehicle one must cash out $300,000. And since Rihanna has the most expensive garage, she wins this round. As well as being great music artists, they have other sources of income. But who stands out the most in business? Ariana Grande, for example, doesn't make money from music alone. In fact, the artist knows how to take advantage of her visibility to have a very diverse income. She has, for example, a behind-the-scene documentary of her tour on Netflix called Excuse Me, I Love You and Some. Sources claim that the platform paid the artist around $5 million. And since a large part of the singer's audience are young people, she has a large number of fans on the social media. On TikTok, for example, she has more than 28 million followers. On Facebook, she has more than 40 million followers. And on Instagram, she has over 350 million followers. The sixth largest profile in the world and the third largest female profile on the network. And she does advertisements for brands such as Fortnite and Givenchy. And according to some analysts on the Instagram platform, an ad post by Rihanna can cost around $1.5 billion. Still on marketing, she has also participated in traditional campaigns for companies such as Nesquik Drinks, MAK Makeup, T-Mobile Phone Operator, WATAAH Bottle Water, and Reebok Fitness Fashion with her launching her own collection of tea shirts and sweatshirts, and like most digital influencers, Ariana has also launched her own makeup brand called Ram Beauty, taking advantage of her internet audience to sell her products. In addition, Ariana has licensed perfumes, 
With a total of 10 different fragrances under her name, her partnership with Lux Brand 4, example has earned her $150 million from her free fragrance launches in just two years. Rihanna, on the other hand, entrepreneurial journey took a dazzling turn in 2017 with the launch of Fenty Beauty, a cosmetics powerhouse born from her collaboration with the esteemed French luxury conglomerate. LVMH Mott Hennessy Louis Vuitton, the brand generates north of $100 million in revenue. Rihanna reportedly owns 50% of the partnership, and the brand is worth $3 billion. She also owns 30% of a lingerie brand called Savage X Fenty, which is currently worth around $1 billion. In 2014, she became the creative director of the fashion sportswear brand Puma, overseeing the brand's women's line and releasing sold-out apparel and footwear collaborations. She is also co-owner of the music streaming service title. In 2020, she launched the skincare brand Fenty Skin. And since they both have other sources of income, let's consider this round a draw. Both celebrities have made a lot of money throughout their careers, but who has the most accumulated wealth? Ariana Grande, for example, is a woman who has immersed a lot of fortune throughout her career when she was acting in Victorious. It is estimated that she was paid $9,000 for every episode she recorded. That is over the entire run of the show, she was paid something like $500,000 not counting the extra fee for the music she produced per episode. However, when we focus 100% on her music, Ariana Grande has achieved a very high performance. On YouTube, for example, the artist has more than 52 million subscribers and has a total of five videos that have reached the incredible milestone of 1 billion views. And off coast, she earns a big income from her clips on the platform taking into account that she also advertises her perfumes and makes advertisements for brands on her channel, not to mention the money she receives from streaming platforms such as Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, Tidal, and others. To get an idea, on Spotify, Rihanna has an impressive 70-plus million monthly listeners. Taking this number into consideration, the singer can easily make around $300,000 per month from streaming her music. She also recently took part as a judge for the 21st season of The Voice USA on NBC. And it is estimated that she received a salary of $20 million for the job and became the highest paid coach in the show's history. Another way she makes money is with her concerts. In her performance at Coachella in 2019, the artist took about $8 million in just two days of the concert. While with her world tour, according to Billboard, she broke a record by making a total of $146 million and it was only at this time that Ariana was listed in Forbes magazine as one of the highest paid celebrities of 2020 and much has already been speculated about the net worth immersed by Ariana Grande, with it being estimated that she has a net worth of $240 million. Rihanna, on the other hand, is one of the most popular and commercially successful music artists in the world today. A large portion of her net worth is attributable to the value of her Fenty Beauty line. She also earns from brand deals, for example in 2015, she signed a $25 million contract with Samsung to promote their Galaxy line of products. Other brands she has worked with include Secret Body Spray, MAC Cosmetics, Budweiser, Armani, Dior, CoverGirl, Gucci, Clinique, and River Island. And from music, according to the Rock Nation website, Rihanna has sold more than 60 million albums and a jaw-dropping 215 digital million tracks. Additionally, she has amassed over 11.8 billion views on and 21 Vevo certificates, which makes her the most viewed female artist on Vevo and YouTube. Rihanna has an estimated net worth of over $1.7 billion, and since Rihanna has the most accumulated wealth, 
She wins this round. At the end of this video, we have 1 point for Rihanna Grande and 4 points for Rihanna, which makes her the winner for this battle. Hey, you liked the video? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to East Africa Celeb Life.